Right, here's something really cool that I've done, really gross. Now, in this little plastic pot last summer, I put a load of grass trimmings in it and a load of water. And it is stinky, disgusting, gross water that smells like an old ditch. But there's life in there, really awesome life. In here is the larvae of the um, hoverfly. And anyone can do this at home, just get yourself a small pot chuck some old grass trimmings in there and put some water in there and wait for it to go all stinky and horrible and if you're lucky hoverfly will come and lay their eggs in there so let's tip it out onto this tray and see what we've got God, it stinks here they are all in here let's get a little bit closer let's get one separated so you can see it look here's one she mentioned young tales about breathing yeah. So can you see that there? There's the rat tail maggot and it's got a big long tail on it. And that tail is used as a siphon so it can breathe while it's in, in the water. And these are typically found in dirty old roadside ditches or anywhere where there's sort of really heavily composting material that's really damp. And the life cycle of, from egg to adult of a hoverfly is about a month and what will happen is these rat tail maggots will work their way out to a dry area where they pupate. Hoverflies are really important pollinators too so you're going to be doing a good thing by um, getting involved with these. Should we put them on this tissue? Here we go look at them all on there wiggling around Look at that. So this is such an awesome thing to do and get out in a tray for your kids to see it. Uh, it's really worth doing this this summer. All you need to make one is some sort of old pot, some grass trimmings, and you stuff the grass trimmings in, and then you pour, fill up with water, and then you put it somewhere in the garden, maybe dig it in so it's sort of level-ish with the soil, and leave it there to rot and rat tail maggots will come. Hoverfly will lay their eggs in there.